Welcome back everybody. It's time for another mail day. We've got some awesome stuff, mainly Go-Go's Crazy Bone stuff to go over today. I've been catching wind of some Go-Go excitement. You know, you go in little phases and you start getting hooked on things once again. Go-Go's has just been catching my vibes lately. And that all happened basically because one awesome thing appeared on eBay that the whole GoGo community was excited about that we are gonna go over because I did get a few of these things. It's very, very cool. And there's like kind of like a whole little story as much as we know that goes in with it. So I'll discuss that. But we got all the packages here just ready to go and ready to be cracked into with some awesome stuff. And then at the end of the video, we have some other really cool stuff. Safe to say, I think you guys know I've opened up a lot of Crazy Bone items on this channel. So my collection has been growing pretty fast over the last year, specifically a lot of series one, because it's just the most that I've gotten my hands on lately, but I haven't sorted anything. I haven't figured out if I have the entire collection completed yet. I know it's not completely completed, but how close am I? I don't even know. I've just got them in boxes over here, but they need to be sorted. We need to go through them. So that's what we're gonna do. I got the little sticker album here. We're gonna go through it. We're gonna start filling out the pages with the stickers and all the color variants of all the different Go-Go's. We're gonna see what I have, go through the checklist and go from there. But we will do that at the end after I sort out some of the new additions to series one that I just got in the mail. So what are we waiting for here? I'm super excited. I've had these packages over here for a couple weeks now. Let's get into this thing. Let's open these up and uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoy this. And also make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it. What? Come here. Ah, hello. It's just me and my daughter here now that my kids are in school, so she wandered up to see what I was filming. Pretty lights, huh? Say hi to the camera. We're here with all the stuff that we're gonna be opening up and sorting today, so I think I am gonna get started on this big box because it's annoying and in the way, and there's a lot of stuff to go over in it, so I guess we'll pull this one out first and see what's inside. Now this box is gonna be going along with the sorting of series one because I did get a lot of just a ton of series one in this box, uh, including some really nice special figures that I'm very excited about. Okay, let's see. Now this guy had it in like a little chest thing on eBay, so I don't know if he gave that to me. He did not. It's just a bag full of Go-Go's, which I'm perfectly fine with. All right, slide this over. We'll drop this down. This guy kind of knew what he had a little bit, but I still got a really decent price because he did separate some of the nicer ones into a separate bag here, which is cool. Okay, get this out of the way. We'll leave these for a second and we'll see this bag first. This is his just, basically this guy's entire collection. I didn't want to get all of these, uh, but you know, I got it for mainly other things and I got a really good steal on it. I think I paid uh, 30, 30 bucks for this entire lot of Go-Go's and there's some really cool ones in here, so. Let's just dump these bad boys out. We're not gonna go over every figure, don't worry. I'm just gonna see if I can spot some decent ones. I already see some of the wanteds, which is pretty neat. Okay, that is a lot of Go-Go's. Yeah, I just like tripled my collection kind of a little bit, which is nuts. All right, here's a wanted right there. Bang, straight away, first one in. Going to have to kind of see what's in this thing. It's pretty crazy. Moshes, we got Ngiru, the orange one, which is pretty sick. Not the red one though. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for those alternate skin colors to some of the most wanted guys. So we need him in a red um, and things like that. Hikiru orange, Ngiru re uh, red, and then fist is purple. So I'm trying to look to see if maybe a fist slipped in here or something and see if I got like extra lucky with this. Oh my gosh, there's just so many of these guys holy crap oh yes we need to look for a b-boy in purple as well aha okay we found another wanted which it's a little beat up a little scuzz not all of these are in perfect condition but it's a it's another wanted so it's all right oh found another one here we go there we go two bright is that his name i think it is or his original one not his wanted version but another one right there oh i always forget about this guy is he a wanted as well I think he might be. All right, we're doing good on the Wanteds, that's nice. What are you? You are not from series one. I don't even recall you. What are you from? Possibly series four? I'm gonna have to look this one up. I'm not sure, I don't recognize him. Ooh, okay, found a nice yellow Ngiru, pretty sharp looking. I can't remember if I have him, which is why we're sorting today. Hey, this guy claimed his territory and sharpied on the bottom of some of these guys, not cool. Is this guy another Wanted? Oh my gosh, all right, did we get another one? Do I not have this one? 
Am I missing you? Well, he's a terrible condition. He definitely got flicked around. Ooh, a sharp looking Sato. That is sick. A nice red on him. Classic colors. I think that's it, man. I'm not seeing any others that are wanted or anything floating around here. I'm not seeing any of the very rare particular color variants that we're looking for for some of the other most wanted. So I think we're clear on this one. This is just going to be all extra bulk and stuff. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it kind of just came with what I bought it for, which is some of the wanteds and then this bag. So let's open up this one. Make some room here a little bit, guys. Just make a little bit of room. Okay, let's try to pull out a few of these dudes. We got some of the gold tin guys right here, which, you know, are fine. People have these. People have gotten them. It's no big deal. I've gotten them myself before, so nothing too fancy there. We got an absolutely massacred most wanted b-boy. He is just destroyed. So I technically do have all of the five most wanted, but I am not counting him. Just so you know, going forward, I do not have this guy because he is utterly trashed and garbage. So he's just going to sit in the collection and do nothing because he is utterly destroyed. You can't really display that guy at all. I don't know why some of these guys, is he, oh yeah, UFO, he's from a tin. Put all the tin guys in here like they're fancy and stuff. This is a guy from series four, I believe. All right, clear, clear some more space. I'm just going to dump the bag out here. There we go. Gold guy, more gold and a gold and a gold a gold and one more gold a really crappy gold i think it's completely coming off and getting destroyed series four i believe this guy was in here i don't know why this guy was in here i don't know why from one of the tins another ufo edition from the tins oh one of the guys i'm actually missing from the wanted collection very nice but again massively destroyed oh but we got an achiro most wanted let's go not too bad and it looks to be in good condition so that's nice don't know why you're in there don't know why you're in there and i don't know why you're in there kind of just had some random stuff in here this is another one from a tin yeah this guy probably shouldn't have belonged in the bag he's just a rando oh yeah i love these guys another couple additions from tins i think it's like sea cat or something like that but i love this guy's design it's super sweet again i'm not sure why he's in there more from the tins Looks like another one from series four but again super beat up completely getting scratched off and then we got our big boy over here most wanted and giru very very cool a nice addition i've got so many of these now it's crazy and he's not too bad he might be a little scuffed in a couple spots but overall not too shabby and then we got our boy fist here again too again same kind of thing not too bad of condition maybe just a couple bumps and scratches here and there but overall not too terrible and then the last one that i hid from you guys because i wanted to leave it for the end we've got ba -ba -ba -ba, the orange base color most wanted Hiraku, the very rare orange color gradation of this guy super super cool i've been looking for him for quite a bit on ebay and i missed my chance to get him pretty cheaply in the past uh, unfortunately i just didn't pull the trigger quick enough and someone else got him. So now I finally got him. I saw him in the lot and I was like, you know what? There's a bunch of most wanted. There's a bunch of wanted. And then there's our boy, the orange Haraku variant. So I was like, I'll do it. If I can get a good price on it, sent an offer over. And you know what? Worked out for me, man. Now I have one of the hardest ones to get, I believe. It, this Haraku orange is pretty difficult. So is the Angiro red, but I already have him. So this is an awesome one to have established in the collection now which means I should have all of the Harakus, I'm hoping, but we're gonna have to double check that. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. That's the gist of that giant lot and package of GoGo Series 1s. I'm like, why did I do this? Why did I get so many of these Series 1s now? I've already got four cases over here full of Series 1s, and now I just added probably like, oh, I don't know, another 100 or so, crazy. And I'm just scooping all these guys into a box right now just so we can keep them for later to sort them and clear some more room on the desk. All right, next package, and this one's on theme with the Series 1. I got another little small lot of figures because I spotted something very cool. That kind of goes along with our, you know, Haraku variant guy, if that gives you any clues. So let's open him up. This him, this package, what am I saying? Thank you on it. Let's take these guys out. Nothing too crazy in here except for one figure. Red Tin Man, another Red Tin Man. Good old classic Red Boy and a cool guy glasses Red Boy. So on the theme of red, we got the Hichiro. Very cool. Red, most wanted variant base color. Super cool, super cool. I, I spotted him. 
it was only like five bucks for five of these guys. So I basically paid a dollar for this one. So there we go. We've got the red one base of Hichiro, which is awesome. And now we're just narrowing it down. We will only need a few base of the most wanted to complete the hardest one, which will be the most wanted base colors. So another one off the checklist. We don't got to worry about it. I knew I didn't have this one. So a good pickup and a good find. All right. So just a few packages left and we're going to open up this one. I'm very excited to get these guys out. These are super rare and hard to come by at least. They were hard to come by, uh, <laughs> and there will be more explaining that. But let's pull these guys out and show you guys. These are some of the classic, classic hard-to-find guys in the Go-Go's world. We've got Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are an awesome, awesome giveaway that happened in Toronto for the Toronto Blue Jays, where they gave out these little packets of Crazy Bones, and they had their own exclusive five figures that they gave away for the event. I recorded an explanation, and I think I said Slugger the whole time, but it's Screwball. Screwball is the character we got here today. A super cool one. That's all the seller had available was Screwball. There's four others that you can collect and are extremely hard to find. Basically, these guys just haven't been around. They It's super hard to find these dudes because you basically had to be there for the Toronto game to get handed one of these bad boys. So to have them be sealed and in the package brand new like this, extremely rare to actually find them in this condition. Some of the other GoGo -Go fans in the Discord have found these before uh, in other lots, just getting lucky, people selling them or whatnot. But in the packaging sealed is pretty wild. And cue the backstory now because it kind of needs an explanation. So I'm going to cut in really quick and kind of explain the whole situation with the Blue Jays and the slugger things that we got in. Some guy, I don't know who, ended up getting a massive, massive amount of just all these sealed packs of just the slugger. A giant box, basically. No specific thing. He found it in a warehouse. Who knows? One of those deals. But he had the entire box. He put it all on eBay. He's been sending them out like crazy to the entire GoGo -Go fan base, basically. Everybody's been super pumped for these things because these are very rare. They're super rare, hard to get your hands on, at least until now. I mean, there's still five more that people look for that are also as equally rare. So obviously this does bring down the value and the rarity of this specific character of the Blue Jays, but it was just really cool to see a bunch of the GoGo -Go fans get something that they've sought after for quite a long time. I, I don't care so much about the value and stuff. It does make it cool to have rare items that are valued highly and are hard to find and this does make it a little bit easier to find this specific one but still something that just hasn't seen the light of day in a long time i don't care though it's super exciting and these are awesome they're the go goes back from my day as well so that's why i love this one even more okay so now that the explanation's out of the way i'm going to actually look these over and i am going to pick one that i'm going to open up i'm not sure which one would be the wisest to keep sealed and the best one to open up but maybe i'll keep the translucent ones sealed and open up one of these that just have like two pink and white characters no and the sticker oh man and the advertisement for the choking hazard came off on this one because it's really old so yeah i'll put dates of when this actually took place because they are pretty dang old but i guess the pack picked itself since this fell off we'll open up this one check out the other figures there are some other figures that are pretty exclusive as well which is interesting um, I don't know a whole lot about them. People in the comments can inform me more. Uh, I believe they're from the Footballer series, uh, but they were only exclusive to Canada, I believe. So interesting, but check that out, man. One in 10,000 of the 1999 collector bones made. There you go, 1999, one out of 10,000. Here's all the dates that you could get them. So just through the season, basically. And here's all the figures on there too, as you can see, uh, we got Screwball, I think that's, what is that, Captain Slugger, which so I was saying, I think I'm saying Slugger in that, uh, <laughs> that little explanation, so my apologies, but Screwball is who we got, and I forget his name, and then we got the actual Maple Leaf, which in my opinion is probably the rarest one to find. People have found other ones, but only like, I've only seen two or three collectors actually own the Maple Leaf one, so the Maple Leaf Blue Jay, pretty freaking hard to come by, and this is just... This is just insane. And now that you know more of the backstory too, you kind of get how dope these are and why it's such a weird but yet interesting time for collectors. Uh, just because these were such a hunt and such a difficult task to accomplish finding. And now they're just kind of out there. At least Screwball is. None of the other ones are. So Screwball 
has decreased, but the rest are still pretty rare. You get this nice card, it's super cool. All right, let's get the figures out. We'll start with the footballer ones, and I'll have to look these up and put names, uh, but for more explanation on the exclusivity of these other figures, uh, yeah, look to the comments. I'm sure one of the GoGo -Go fans will help me out there. But check him out. Look at that. He's holding a little football thing or something. Looks like a football, right? Or a soccer ball. Whichever you want to call it. Whatever, you know, place you're in, I guess. And then we've got this little gal. Interesting that they chose, like, a soccer ball for a baseball game. So I think they are just trying to match the sports theme and just make it as exclusive as possible for everything. Interesting figure. Got the big bulgy Bubble Eyes, classic Go-Go's from back in the day. Super dope though. And look at that, the little marking, the number marking is on the side of that one. Is it on the side of this one too? Oh, I don't even see. Oh, yep, number one and number two. So I opened up number one and number two for these guys. Set those there and we'll get out the legendary man himself, Screwball. A beautiful translucent blue. You could only get them in this awesome translucent blue, of course, to match the theme of the Blue Jays. And dang, he is so sick. I mean, it's the old school crazy bone, so the nostalgia is here for me. And I know like the figure and the molds aren't like the greatest from back then, uh, but just a legendary figure. And to have one in my collection, and now to have several that I'm gonna be keeping sealed is just really, really cool. And it's, uh, yeah, it's something I've been trying to keep my eye out for for a while. And yeah, for the past like two years, never seen one. A really cool figure though. I love this like ice blue. So cool. Not quite ice. It's more of like a royal ice blue, if that makes sense. I don't know. I'm rambling, but I just want to emphasize how dope these guys are and just how super cool it is to have one of these in the collection. All right. We got our Blue Jay out of the way, which was awesome. We'll keep these guys over to the side carefully and we will move on. This feels like it's going to be a longer video. All right. So we're actually almost done with the unboxing portion of this video because these last two packages actually coincide. They are the same product. Uh, so let's go into it and I can tell you more about the purchase that I made. Now I'm always keeping my eye out for old GoGo's Crazy Bone original packs. And there is a seller that was selling a lot of 10 of them and it was up for bid. And I happened to sneak in and get these at a, what I consider a really good, reasonable price for the OG series. Nine, 10, 10 legendary first appearances of the GoGo's Crazy Bones here all the way back from the day my heyday of Kogo's Crazy Bones. So these are always so cool to open up and find. And I've been lucky enough to actually open up an entire box of these. Don't ask me how I got so insanely lucky because these are freaking hard to find now too without people making the prices absolutely ridiculous. So I was very happy to get these for around eight bucks each basically, which I think is relatively accurate to what these packs are worth sealed. Don't go for the 20, 15, $30 packs. That's way too much. If you can pay under 10 per pack, I think you're getting a pretty good price for these old packs. So like I said, this package over here, after I bought that first bid of 10 packs, he put up another bid for 10 more packs. So I definitely had to go out of my way to pick up a second lot of 10 GoGo's Crazy Bones Originals. Hell yes! So freaking sweet, I'm so happy. These are so freaking awesome. And uh, I hate to break it to you guys. This is not all that I bought. I got two lots. I finally messaged the guy and I said, do you have more? Cause I will buy them. He said, I do and I'm putting them up for bid. I'm not gonna just sell them straight to you. And I was like, bummer, but I still won. And so now I've got another 10 that are coming in on Thursday this week from when I'm recording. So I have 30 sealed packs of the original GoGo -Go series. Oh man, get ready for an awesome opening, everyone. This is gonna be so much fun. Eggies for everybody, I'm hoping. Give me some awesome looking eggies. They are phenomenal. And they just keep going up in price on eBay. It's ridiculous. People try to sell eggies for like $30 now. It's absolutely atrocious. And that's all the packages for right now of the GoGo -Go stuff. I do actually, like I said, have more of these coming in and I have another package coming in of another product, but it's not gonna be in for another like week. I got I wanna try to get this video out for you guys, so you'll have to see that in another one. All right, now that the packages are out of the way and we've got all our new Series 1 stuff out and ready to go, we can start sorting in with my collection as well and start getting these all lined up and set up and see 
just how much of the Series 1 collection that I actually have. Now, as you've seen, I do have mine sorted just into colors right now. I do want to change that up and go by the characters so we can find all of the five different variant colors to each character, and that way we have a better look at what we're missing and what we're not. I'm super ready, and hopefully you guys enjoy, so keep watching. All right, we're ready to start sorting. I took the initiative of putting all these stickers in the sticker album. I figured you guys wouldn't want to see me just place a hundred, you know, almost a hundred stickers into this book. So we are going to be using the book to mark off the different color variations that we can find. I don't know if I'm going to do that as I sort or at like a stopping point or something, probably at a stopping point, I'll start marking stuff off. I am going to start separating by colors and then character. So where am I doing? What am I doing? I forget. I'm doing characters, but since I already have my guys separated into colors, I'll be taking out colors, separating the characters and adding the different color variations to the characters I put out. So the fun part of watching all these guys come out onto the table. Hopefully I can fit them all. We'll see how it goes. Okay, this table is getting pretty filled up pretty quickly. Don't know if we're gonna be able to fit all 80, but I'm gonna keep going. I gotta refresh the camera and we'll uh, see you in a second. Okay, I am done sorting and getting everything out. I actually just stopped filming and spent an extra about 40 minutes putting out the rest of the figures, putting out the rest of the lot that I got in from eBay that you guys saw. And honestly, thank goodness that I got that lot. It actually filled in some of the color sequences that I needed. I actually was quite surprised with how little I had in certain areas that I thought I had more in. And once I brought out that big lot that I found on eBay, it just kind of started filling in all the extra stuff. We started completing the little sets of colors and variants, and it was uh, looking pretty nice. So overall, I'm pretty freaking happy with how much I've got actually done and what I need left are just, I, I have to count them out still. I haven't done my book yet and marked them. I'm about to do that now. So you'll get one more quick update from me before the video ends of kind of how many figures we have left but this is all of them uh except for a few this many that's all i've got left that i just didn't want to put on the table that were just duplicates of stuff that you've already seen on the table basically ah yes and the most wanted and the wanted which i will show now you guys have seen most of these from other videos and me pulling them out of the boxes some of them have just been in my collection for a long time but here's all of the nice wanteds which i do have all of them i believe i should have 
ticked all the boxes. Some of them are in really crappy condition, though. Uh, I think Iwashima or whatever his name is, I always forget. He's not in great condition. But the rest are decent and fine. So now it's basically just coming to the most wanted, which here they are. I've got a few duplicates of the Ngiru. We've got Hiraku. I love those guys. So it's awesome to have a few of those. Uh, so B-Boy is still one I need to find because that one is in terrible condition, as you can see. So again, I'm not counting it or anything. It's just, you know, going to be something that we're going to hunt for in future videos of series one base colors that we are officially missing from the most wanted categories we have Ngiru, we have ichiro we have Hiraku. we are missing the purple fist we do not have the purple base fist and we're also missing our purple b-boy as well for his base so both the purples pretty much and then we're complete with all the base colors for the most wanted and just finding b-boy and yeah we'll just have the little ones scattered in between i was actually surprised by a few standouts that I just don't have a lot of. Ghost, Akai, 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 something. Tut, Tut, I don't have a lot of these. On average, I've only got like two of the variants or two of the colors, and that's about it, and only like three of the figures, three or four of the figures, and that's it. So I actually am missing quite a few of those guys. Ugh, I just realized I had a couple in here that are not series one. I don't know how those wound up on the tables. I'm starting to notice crazy bones that I put in the wrong spots it's all right this took forever and this was crazy long to film and record hopefully uh it was entertaining now i have to mark all these down i'll do a little update of actually how many figures we have left to complete the set and then i gotta put all these suckers away and put them back in the cases okay all done i've marked everything i've double checked i think i've got everything on the checklist marked off that i need to and it's pretty crazy total in the set correct me if my math is wrong all the characters get five color variants and then of course there's the five most wanted and the 10 wanted that brings our total collection number up to 415 and i just counted and i'm only missing around 92 figures that means on this table we have over 323 characters that are fully complete in the set and ready to go and we've only got less than 100 to complete the entire 415 set pretty crazy but i discovered something that i was not too happy with i do not have all the wanteds somehow i'm missing one over here i have the full variant collection of cody all the different color variations but i don't have the freaking wanted version of cody what the hell i don't know how i don't know how i've missed him so far but i have I, I don't get it but oh well it's one more wanted that we can go for shouldn't be too bad to find wanted you get more of those in each box over the most wanted's at least other than that i think uh, we're going to be able to knock at least like 10 15 maybe 20 uh, with every new box opening i would hope fingers crossed i don't really know how that's going to stack out once we start opening new boxes going forward but that's it man that that is the full series one collection Hopefully you guys like this thing, and if you did, maybe I'll do it with some of my other series. Definitely don't have as much with the other series as I did with Series 1. I've definitely, now that I've opened so much, have the most with Series 1. Whew, man, it's like 12 o'clock now. I've been counting and sorting and setting up go-go's for the past four hours. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a ton of fun and something I'd been putting off for quite a while because I'm lazy and I just chuck these things in boxes sometimes and don't get to them. So I'm glad I finally got to go through it with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed all of it. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see how fast we can completely finish this massive series one collection. Stay tuned for more. I'm really feeling a vibe of possibly going hunting for some aliens. You guys know I have a whole box of things back here. While not the most popular set, uh, you know, there are some things to look for, which are the alien figures, which are always awesome and fun to find. All right, I've kept you long enough and hopefully the video wasn't too crazy long, but we will see you guys in the next one.